All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to change the air filter, cabin air filter, in a 2016 Toyota 4Runner Trail. It doesn't make a difference whether you have the Trail, the Limited, whatever, it, it's all in the same place. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. It'll take you literally like a minute, maybe even less to get this done. So first off, open your glove compartment. That is my glove compartment. It's already open. Take everything out of it. <coughs> And you'll see this little compartment back here. Go ahead and uh, push those little tabs down. Pull that out. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out as well. You'll see that there's, bring you a little bit closer. All right, so this is your glove compartment. Um, this thing here, this needs to come off so that it can get out of the way. Uh, we already took this off. So let me just focus it in on that so you can actually see. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. This light is a little bit in my way, and I'm sitting on the other side of the car. So, there you go. Um, and then you'll see that's your air filter. Just pay attention when you take your air filter out and it'll make it a little bit easier. You see how it's pointing upwards? Well, you want it to be the same way. And you see how this filter, or this uh, hard side, is uh is on the outsides okay so you're just going to slide it in exactly like that when you get the new one you see this is the soft part this is the hard part this is the way that it came in this is the way it's going to go back in and you see the up this is where the airflow is it's facing upwards so you're going to make yours your new one also face upwards okay you see this this is going to go right back in like that literally all right, now that we put our new air filter back in, let's go ahead and put this white piece back on. Uh, again, it, just, it literally just slides into these two tabs on the side, clicks in, okay? Just make sure that I put it in all the way. There you go. Push it all the way in. Shouldn't take very much effort. Put this cover back on, and you're done. All right, guys, so how do you know that you need to change your air filter uh, for the 4Runner? Little tiny air filter. Um, look at the dirt. If you go off-roading, you'll definitely need to, but look at all the dirt in here. You can see there's some leaves in there. The leaves not individually or on their own a big deal, but a lot of dirt. You see all that dirt? You probably can't see that well. You might as well change it. It's cheap enough. Don't buy the OEM one. OEM one's like $47. It's not a critical, critical component. Now, it is important because obviously it's cleaning the air that's coming in that you're breathing, um, but it's not something that's messing up your engine. Um, so anyway, I went with the frame one. Thanks for watching guys. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe below. Uh, you will find uh, hopefully a bunch of my videos, uh, useful if you have a Honda Civic even more so, uh, because I cover how to do the maintenance on the 4Runner and, uh, the Civic, um, all the basic maintenance, uh, the oil change. I've got a video on this 4Runner, how to do your oil change, how to remove your skid plate, which I had to do as a result of changing the oil change. Um, how to remove your rotors, change your brakes, a number of different things. Anyway, subscribe below. Thanks.